both of the games are going to be seven inning games. Um, and uh, Harold Gonzalez is starting for us tomorrow. But the list of pitchers that we have uh, mapped up to follow Harold tomorrow are Sean Reed Foley. Uh, no particular, this is not the exact order, but those guys are going to pitch in the game. Uh, Sean Reed Foley again, Gilliam, Hildenberg, uh, Hildenberg, I'm sorry, Tarpley, um, uh, Sapaki, and uh, um, I think I think that's it. I think uh, I hit the target there. So, but we'll both will be seven innings. Uh, those guys are the plan is for them to go one inning, one inning apiece. Um, and uh, you know, next day, uh, Yamamoto is uh, uh, probably going, going, it's very valuable, Steve. Um, you know, we know times are a little different than what we witnessed in the past, you know, for uh. You know, guys to get their chance probably to be to be in camp. Um, I've known that talking to these guys, they've been surprised uh, by the fact that they got the invitation to come here, but they haven't act, uh, uh, shy at all uh, being in camp. You know, they act like they belong here, and um, they're competing. They're doing everything. You know, uh, uh, at the speed that it requires. So. I think it's uh, pretty special for them. It gives a lot of value for them to be around some of the players that have, you know, now a couple of years uh, of experience uh, at the major league level. So I think, you know, it's just growth. Um, at a young age for them, you know, the, the talent uh, and, and passing some of that experience, uh, it, you know, it makes them better by the day. I mean, only a week in from having the full uh, squat workouts, I think they learn a lot. I mean, you you can talk to them, have conversations with them, and, and they can share with you what they picked up out of the rest of the guys around them, and how they can how they've been able probably to slow some things down, even though from from practice. So, I'm eager uh, to see them participating in games and also paying attention to what's going on in games. So, they, they they're going to keep up developing, uh, but at the same time, I think they're gonna they're gonna feel that that they belong in the group as well. There were some challenging things last year. There's still some challenging things going on now, but. Um, you know, you're you're absolutely right. Uh, going into it, you feel comfortable. Like last year, I felt really good. Uh, you know, people around me and knowing the guys, uh, knowing majority of the group uh, that would put me in a good position to start the communication going and and uh, uh, to go into the you know the direction that some things were going to go. And yeah, they, they were challenging. I think they still some challenges uh, going around, but. Uh, with the experience, the experience has helped. Uh, you know, feel feel really good right now on a daily basis, uh, even though with the challenges that are going on. So definitely, that going through what you know we went last year, uh, it gives you a better feel of what may come. You know, or how can you prepare the guys and uh, maybe another angle of doing things. So it did help. You know, that that's why I think. Um, you know, adversity shows up. It just makes you makes you a better man. Say, pressure is a privilege. You know, so and uh, uh, you got to feel a little something in there. You know, but that's a motivator. Uh, just because all the talent we have and uh, you know the responsibility we have uh, to get better every day and uh, and then, and to get in the best shape as a team uh, here in camp and leaving leaving camp going into the season and. Um, to give ourselves the best version of, 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 of a team and to give the fan base the best version of this team. So th there's definitely that, you know, excitement, pressure, you know, you can we can call it, uh, you know, different things, but it, it's a great motivator. I mean, that's that's just what you feel, uh, feeling some of these things. And I, I think the guys are right there, um, you know, as far as the motivator and what we want um, as a team. So. Like, like, yeah, you know the responsibility. You know what, you know what's what's uh, what's there, and that there's going to be great competition in our division and with the other teams that we're going to be facing. So, you got to feel that. You got to you got to feel that there's you know some things that you got to take care of uh, now, right now in camp with the personnel that we have here, and then also uh, going uh, into the season. Medical stuff to, to the performance guys, but like living living that, living the protocol, understanding like the milestones that you need to hit and in a specific order and so for me like I didn't do a really good job of controlling my intensity and my intent and so that probably led to some of why I needed a revision and those types of things but um 
I think just just knowing like he knows that I've lived this and so like being just being there for him like and with every Tommy John not just Noah specifically but there's there's ups and downs there's hills and valleys of maybe soreness or like you're working through things you're trying to get your mechanics back to where they were after doing rehab for a certain amount of time and so just just being there as a as a as a listening ear to um, you know I've lived this before and um, know what you're going through and and then ultimately like he can still work on his stuff and so that's that's the beautiful thing about the 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 way that Tommy Johns are done now is you know they're they're not as quick um, they're they're much more drawn out and I think rightfully so um, it's good for the player um, for their long term success to to draw things out a little bit so that make, making sure that you're really locked in before. The lights turn in, turn on, and intensity goes up, and everything. So me and Harv, Matt Harvey, were kind of going through it at the same time during our first Tommy John, so we kind of had each other to lean on. Um, but in terms of like getting it um, scientific and really not generic, and not not, I was still kind of in that. It was a little bit cookie cutter, like kind of everyone did the same thing, um, and we kind of moved away from that a little bit, where it's more individualized and. Um, we have better ways to, to judge where a person is. And so just um, I, to answer your question, like I really didn't have anyone. It was kind of me just learning on the go and trusting the people that were giving me the information. And that's kind of where I was at. And then the guys I was going through it with, um, you know, how are you feeling? Like, well, you know, what do you think we should do next? Those types of things. I think our confidence is at an all-time high right now. Um, you have 48 leading your pitching staff. Um, you got Mike and, and, and James and, and Lindor and you add Cookie and you, we had added all these pieces. Um, I just feel really good about where our team is and, and what we can accomplish this year. But uh, I'm excited for this year and to make the best out of it. But uh, uh, yeah, Chili's been great. Um, I'm super excited, you know, to work with a familiar persona and uh, he kind of knows my swing and he knows the adjustments that I've been making this off season. So I'm super excited and it's uh it's a long year, but uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, the, the smile on my face, man, just shows it all. I'm, I'm really ready. I'm ready to go. A lot, man. I could go. I could talk for days, but you know, there's some physical ones, but those are, those are a part of everybody's journey, man. Everybody has to constantly make physical adjustments. Uh, mentally, are, are obviously um, are big ones as well. You know, it's a, this is a game of failure, and it's a game of, of adjustments that you have to constantly keep making, but. Uh, I'm not, I feel like I'm in a really good place and I'm just excited to compete. Uh, I'm excited to, to go to war with these guys. I do think the mental side is a big key in Major League Baseball. Like I said, with the long season and the, and the failures that come with it, it's, it's something to always lean back on because at the end of the day, it, your mind is, is constantly going and, and it, it could take you in a lot of different directions. So I'm excited, man. I think, uh, I think change is good. Yeah, and uh, at this point in my career, I think it was a, you know, with the circumstances, there's no, there's no, there's no, um, you know, harm or bad feelings with that team. I think uh, I grew a lot as a, as a man and as a player there. I've had great experiences there and uh, memories that I'll share forever. But at the same time, I'm super excited for this next chapter. By the looks of it, this has been an easy transition. This has been a, a great team of guys, of, a, of great people first. And obviously the players, the talent speaks for itself. I think we, on paper, we're, you know, we're really, we're a really good team, but the people in the clubhouse is what makes a difference, and so far, so good. So far, so good.